quickly look at the few things that I've got going. Um, first, I'll talk about the lights. It looks like um, something you see coming out of a computer, but this is actually a, a cob. This is a driverless cob, it goes straight to mains. Um, no driver required. This one's 100 watt, and it's the full spectrum, which is the blue and the red, which together makes like a, a sort of pinkish light. So I'm just sort of playing with this. I've had this in for the past like month, and um, some things grow better than others. I mean, if the light gets too close, you do get a little bit of uh, bleaching. But I mean, for 100 watt, I've actually got some little chilies growing now. These ones are the um, peach ghost pepper. Uh, these two at the back, these were in my greenhouse. And I just cut all the tops off and it's pretty much just grew back. Uh, wasn't doing so well at the start, but you can see roots coming out of the bottom now. Uh, this plant over the back, exactly the same. These are in uh, cocoa at the moment. You can see that properly. Uh, for me, this bean out of the way. Uh, then with the Trinidad Moruga scorpion and uh, Big Bang chocolate that I've got going there. Um, not quite sure what that one is, but I'll find it. That's also in cocoa. I tend to grow um, a lot more things inside in cocoa soil at the moment. I've seen like the growth seems to be a lot quicker. It's more hassle mixing the nutrients up, but once you've got the nutrients mixed, uh, it's not too bad. A pineapple plant that I finally got to root. It looks like it's got some new growth coming out now, eventually. Now it's under a, a bit of light. These are red robin tomatoes, I think, a little bush determinant variety. And they've actually got a few little fruits coming on. A bit of the leaves, um, a bit curled and burnt, which is the only downside I can see to this LED is that when the leaves get too close, they tend to die off a little and just um, remain lettuce in the middle there. And an interesting thing to point out is that when it comes to hydroponics and cocoa, uh, generally you have to use either hydroponic nutrient or a car car nutrient, you can't use um, the same one in both. But um, in this one these are in little clay pebbles and these aren't in hydroponic nutrients, these are actually in car car nutrients. And actually the root goes pretty good. Now airstone, this is the cracky one, which I have made a video of so I'll link that in the description in case you want to make one of these. It's basically just set in and forget it kind of thing. Uh, you just chuck it in and it'll pretty much, this will, that nutrients in there will be enough to finish all three of these in one go, basically. Um, not too much more to say. Um, I did, oh, I've got a look at there. It's actually some little flowers coming on. And for a 100 watt LED, I think that's not that bad. That LED there, the chip, uh, cob, which is chip on board, actually cost me, I think it was two pence something off uh, eBay. I'll see if I can link to that, but I'm not quite sure. And then it was five pound for a heatsink fan, which is to cool um, a CPU down. But um, all in all, it seems to be doing a good job. So I'll just turn this on now and I'll um, give you a quick look. If anyone's interested, I'll make a video on how I met these, if anyone's interested, but uh, the same good, they can get hot if you haven't got a fan on the top. You can, you are supposed to be able to passively intake these, but for such a little cob it does get hot because it's 100 watt. So I'll just plug this in there and you can see it's like a purpley light. You'll probably get some flicker as well. Which I'm surprised the camera actually um, isn't picking up the flicker at the moment, but as it's driving us it does tend to flicker. Not tea naked eye, but see if I can get a close look at the bulb or the LED. But literally, anything I've had growing these is this one LED, and I'd say it's about maybe two foot from the top, maybe a foot and a half. That seems adequate for this. I was always interested in LEDs, and I thought it's worth giving it a go because um, the power costs are a lot less. 
So I'll flick this off here, and um, if I don't add it onto this video, I'll add to the next. I'll make a video of how I mix up the car car nutrients. So thanks for watching. Take care. See you next time.